Looking back at my life so far, I've achieved quite a lot of things that I had always dreamed of. Then, about seven years ago, I set out to achieve yet another goal. To learn ballet so that one day I could actually dance on stage. So here's a little vlog to hopefully inspire you to follow your heart. Because eventually, all dreams can indeed come true. Denkst du, dass man alle Träume verwirklichen kann? Sollte man. Also, darf man nicht Träume, äh, Träumen aufhören. So, I'm going to have my first ballet performance this Sunday, the first time ever in my life, because I've started ballet quite late, very late, when I was already 31 years old, and I am 38 now. My skills are not very good, like, I'm sure that professional dancers would really cringe at my bad turnout and my balance, which is totally off. But on the other hand, I don't compare myself to professional dancers because they are just a completely different level. And I think that because I'm learning ballet now myself, I have even more respect and admiration for professional dancers because now I know what they have to go through. Why I'm saying this is because I know that what stops a lot of people in their tracks when it comes to realizing their dreams and just going after what they want is comparison and the fear of not being able to reach somebody else's level. If ballet has taught me one thing, it is that you should only ever compare yourself to yourself and that there is no other option but to persist. Because no matter how hard you try, perfection is pretty much unattainable. Bestens. Bist du schon nervös? Ja. 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 So we do have our dress rehearsal today at the studio. Then we have a final dress rehearsal right before the performance. But today we are still here. This is the last class we have before our performance, so I'm quite nervous. And I want to introduce you to our ballet teacher, Shandor who is quite a big star on stage in Vienna. Ich bin der Schandor, mein Name ist Schandor Ratz, ich komme aus Ungarn, äh, geboren 1959 in Debrecen, Ostseite von Bud äh, Ungarn, wohnte ich habe Budapest sehr lange dort, war meine Ausbildung, ich mhm. war in der, damals hieß das Ballettinstitut, Staatliche Ballettinstitut, inzwischen heißt das Ballettakademie okay. und äh, dort habe ich studiert, äh, eine neunjährige Ausbildung, dann habe ich ein bisschen noch in Ungarn getanzt und dann wurde ich nach Wien geholt bei Peter Beck, also durch Peter Beck mhm. äh, bei der Vorbereitung für die Musical Cats. Ich bin nicht nur Tänzer, ich bin ja. ausgebildeter Schauspieler und Sänger auch. Gott sei Dank, weil äh, das brauchte ich für Cats, dann habe ich Choruslein gespielt, dann habe ich äh, das Phantom der Oper gespielt in dem Theater in der Wien. Was ist dir lieber, Profis zu unterrichten oder Anfänger, so wie uns? Für mich gibt es keine Profi oder gibt es keine Amateur oder, oder Laien, sondern es gibt Menschen, die gerne tanzen wollen mhm. und die, ich muss sie unterrichten. Natürlich gibt es unterschiedliche Levels, ja. das muss ich natürlich sehr einsehen und denen sprechen muss ich, meine Aufgabe ist eigentlich die Beste von denen rausholen. Das heißt, wir lernen bei einem Superstar. Ja, das wissen wir. <lacht> naja, <lacht> es gibt auch keine Superstar für mich. Das ist die, es gibt keine Laien und gibt keine Profi. Es gibt auch keine Superstar für mich. Superstar ist für mich eine Allure, okay. die dazu eigentlich gar nicht gehört. Hi. Are you excited? Yes, very much. Very much. Yes. Are you nervous? Uh, yes. Also. Yes. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A lot. It must be. <laughs> It will be great. Yeah, I hope so. Fantastic. Uh, so, how was the rehearsal? 
it was a bit slippery. Um, yeah, it was all very fast. I wish we, I wish we had time to do one more run through. But it was actually quite messy, but well, <laughs> it's gonna turn out just fine, I guess. Yes. I'm like <laughs> really worried. You don't have to be. It's gonna be. Guys, this is Julia. She's such Hi. a she's such a professional. You have to watch her then. She's amazing. So she's the third in our group. What do you think of us, like non-professional dancers, wanting? I think it's to really dance? cool that you are doing it. Really? And I think yeah, you made a really good job. Really? So, yeah, it's Thank cool you. that we're doing this together. Yeah. And I'm so thankful to be part of this trio. So yeah. It's amazing. I'm excited. Ah. So Julia is actually dancing three different dances. Which one is your favorite? Uh, well, I don't know. They're so different. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I really like the, the last one. That yeah, me too. That's cool. What is it? Favorite. Kind of like neoclassical, contemporary, something like that? It's more like contemporary. Contemporary yeah. ballet. Yeah. Oh, so it's powerful. so beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it's truly true. She's amazing. We love her. Oh, and she just had a huge competition in Paris, is it? Yeah, I did. And it turned out really well for her. So congratulations. Thank to you. That. Yeah, it was better than I expected. <laughs> Now, during the performance, I felt all kinds of emotions, ranging from doubt and insecurity to pride and joy. And even though on stage not everything went as planned, I'll be forever grateful for this unforgettable opportunity. The wichtigste thing is that you weiß, musst du wissen, dass du für diese Job äh, äh, prädestiniert bist, okay. dass du dafür geboren bist, weil eine der schwierigsten ist, Leute äh, begeistern auf der Bühne. Mhm. Das ist eine der schwierigsten. Und wenn du nicht sicher bist und selber Zweifel hast, ja. dann kannst du das nicht. Denkst du, dass man alle Träume verwirklichen kann? Sollte man. Also darf man nicht träume, äh, träumen aufhören. Träume immer. Wenn du etwas erreicht hast, musst du froh sein und genießen. Man, es gibt auch sehr viele Leute, die das nicht genießen können. Weil die ja. haben sofort einen neuen Traum, die manchmal unerreichbar äh, scheint. Mhm. Musst du auch schon genießen, was du schon erreicht hast. Das ist eine der wichtigsten. Und wenn du dann äh, genug genossen hast, sofort ein Peter träumen. And that's what I want to leave you with today. To inspire you to go after your dreams to ignore the negative chatter behind your back and to step into your own power. For as long as we keep dreaming, all things are possible, no matter how far-fetched and unattainable our goals might seem. After all, it's our dreams that make life worth living.